Fisher Price Little People, Santa's Helpers. The weather had turned cold, and Christmas was in the air. Eddie and his friends knew what that meant. Santa was coming. They excitedly got out their crayons and paper, and drew Christmas pictures while talking about the things on their wish lists. I'm going to ask Santa for a toy truck, says Eddie. I'm going to ask him for a new dolly, answered Sarah Lynn. What about you, Michael? I'd like a new sled, he said, his eyes sparkling. Tomorrow, when we see Santa, we can tell him... All these things, Maggie said. I can't wait. The next day, the friends went to visit Santa. They took turns telling him what they hoped he would bring on Christmas morning. Santa, said Eddie, you have so many gifts to deliver. How do you do it? I have a lot to do, Eddie, said Santa, laughing, and I couldn't do it without help from my elves. But even kids like you and your friends can make, can help make Christmas special for others. I wish I can be one of Santa's helpers, says Eddie. I think it would be fun to be one of his elves. But what could we do to be helpful? Eddie thought for a moment. Hey, we could do nice things for others. Yeah, I'd like to make a Merry Christmas for the birds and other animals, giggled Sonia Lee. I like, I think I can make something special with my paints, Michael thought out loud. Oh, what about Farmer Jed and our teacher, said Sarah Lynn. They do so much for us, added Maggie. Let's get started. The next day, Michael thought of a fun way to spread Christmas cheer. He asked the shop owners in town if he can paint their windows for the holidays. Sarah Lynn and Eddie came along to help and had a great time painting. Spreading Christmas cheer in town is fun, said Michael excitedly. Sarah Lynn remembered that Farmer Jed's mittens had holes in them. Will you help me knit him a new pair, she asked her mother. I think that's a wonderful idea, her mother answered. Let's pick out some yarn. When the mittens were finished, Sarah Lynn and her friends delivered the gift and sang some Christmas carols. Merry Christmas, everyone, said Farmer Jed. And thank you very much for my warm mittens, Sarah Lynn. They are perfect. Sonia Lee also thought of the perfect gift for her animal friends, a tree decorated with yummy treats for them to eat. In winter, it must be hard to find food, she sighed. Now they have a Christmas tree, all their own to nibble. This popcorn and berry garland looks good enough for me to eat, Sarah Lynn giggled. What a great idea, Sonia, added Maggie. Now the animals will have a Merry Christmas. When a storm covered the neighborhood in the snow, Eddie knew exactly what he wanted to do. He gathered his friends and they all shoveled Mrs. Brown's walkway. Helping Mrs. Brown makes me feel good, said Eddie. When they, when they were finished, Mrs. Brown came outside with a surprise. Hot cocoa. Helping others is yummy, laughed Michael. Thanks for the cocoa. Thank you, kids, and Merry Christmas, Mrs. Brown said, smiling. On the last day of school before Christmas, all the kids had a special gift for their teacher. Homemade spicy gingerbread cookies. Each cookie looked like one of her students. There was even a cookie shaped like Freddy. Thank you, children, she said. These cookies are very special. 
They are almost too cute to eat. Merry Christmas, everyone said together. Thank you for being such a great teacher, added Maggie. Soon it was Christmas Eve, and Eddie's family decorated their tree and hung their stockings. Okay, my little elves, it's time for bed, their mom said. Santa will be here soon, their dad added. Let's get you both tucked in. It was sure fun being Santa's helper, said Eddie. I like making people happy. Sarah Lynn agreed. I almost feel like one of Santa's elves. As the children slept, Santa delivered his presents all over the world. Are we finished? One of his elves asked. Almost, Santa answered. We just have a few more special houses to visit. Ho, 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 let's go. Santa called to his reindeer, snapped the reins, and with the jingle bells ringing, the sleigh swooped into Eddie's neighborhood. That Christmas morning, Eddie, Sarah Lynn, Sonny Lee, Michael, and Maggie each found a very special gift under the tree. A thank you note attached to a striped hat with a little jingle bell on the end. Th this hat looks just like the one Santa's elves wear, Sarah Lynn said excitedly. I guess we really are Santa's helpers, Eddie squealed. Thank you, Santa, and Merry Christmas. And that's the end of the Fisher Price Little People Santa's Helpers read along. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, fans.